Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Annabelle. To those who are new to this channel and to those who've always been there, welcome back. First of all, thank you guys for clicking on this video. So today I have a very special video for you guys. Not really an interesting one, but a special one because I'm just going to open up to you guys. I'm just going to talk about something personal. Today's video is about the most asked question on my Instagram. Like if you don't follow me on Instagram, just go and follow me. Here is the link. Like Real Life with Bella is my Instagram name so that we can actually talk personally, not just like on the comment section. So today's video is about answering the question, how did you come to Germany? I get this question almost all the time like people ask me when did you come to Germany how did you come like what's the experience and yeah all all things how did I come to Germany is today's video before we start this video can you please go and uh, subscribe subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I'm posting a video let's start this video guys The first question is, when did you come to Germany? I came to Germany in September 2015, so I've been living in Germany for the past four good years now. Yeah, I've been here for quite a long time. The second question is, yeah, the most asked one, how did you come to Germany? I came to Germany through a program called au pair, like au pairing. I don't know if this is the right word. But yeah, this is the program where um, an au pair is actually a girl who leaves a country to go and live um, with a, to go and live in another country with a host family. A host family is the family that you live with, and it goes until up to about twenty seven years or something like this. So this is what I did. I left my country and came to Germany to stay with a host family. And yeah, this is more like a cultural exchange program. You come and stay with this family for a year so that you can actually learn the language if, yeah, learn the language and also learn the culture of uh, this particular country where you're going to as an au pair. What are the duties of an au pair? The duties of an au pair are to actually take care of the kids. Like you're more like a maid of the kids. No, I'm joking. But yeah, you're more like um, looking after the kids, like cleaning their rooms, preparing them breakfast and taking them to school or taking them to the bus stop and also picking them up, like play with the kids, keep the kids busy while the parents are at work. Like, so you're actually looking after the kids. And then in return of looking after the kids, you are getting a pocket money some amount of money every end of month and then after that and also the other thing that you get is to learn the language because you're communicating with this family right and then you're also learning the culture of this a certain uh, country that you are so this is actually how i came so i came here as an au pair to get this uh, cultural exchange program and also learn the german language so the next question is how does this really work like how do you get to come how do you end up living with a family in another country i came through an agent like i come from zimbabwe to those who are new to this channel and yeah i was working with an agent i paid a certain amount of money to this agent so that i can get to learn the basic language of uh of german like the a1 course germany and so so i learned this language with the agent and this agent was also looking for a family for me so the agent got a host family for me and they also taught me the language and yeah they also do the contracts with the ember so that you you can actually get your visa easily or, or something like that so this is how i came this is how it's working it's working through a, an agent but um, there's also an app uh, online, uh, not an app, there's also a website like Opewell. In this website, there are host families that register themselves, that they tell you they are looking for uh, an au pair, or au pairs are also registering themselves and tell you they are looking for host families. So you can actually hook up on this website 
but I think the website thing only works when you are going to a country that is actually speaking the same language as you. If the country is speaking English, you can go through Opeworld. World. But if it's a different language, you also have to learn the basics of this language so that you can be able to apply for a visa and also be able to communicate with the family a little bit when you arrive on your destination country. Yeah, so this is why I did it with the agent. So you pay the agent for uh, teaching you the language and uh, for getting you a host family and you also pay for yourself a flight ticket and also visa um, prizes or anything like this. So this is how this whole au pair thing works. So the next question is, uh, how was the experience for you as an au pair? I will be honest with you guys, like au pair is not really an easy thing. Why? Because I have a few reasons for this. It's actually a good thing because it gives you an opportunity to go outside the country and learn a new culture and maybe open opportunities, open doors that you couldn't have opened in your own country. But it also has its challenges. The most difficult challenge is that when you do this A1 course, right, if, it's, um, if you are an au pair in a country that doesn't speak your language, for me, it was like I had to speak a Deutsch, right, the German language, and with an A1 course, it's not really easy because A1 course is not enough for you to communicate. It, it was really difficult because, obvious, when you can't communicate with people or when you don't understand the next person, then there are uh, all conflicts arising. So I would try to explain myself and they wouldn't understand, and they would try to explain themselves to me and I wouldn't understand, and yeah, it was really difficult. There's nothing as difficult as when you try to communicate yourself and nobody understands you. And then the second thing is, um, no matter which country that you go to, you, you also have to, it's, it's a new culture, it's a new environment, new food, new everything. So you, you have to get used to it and getting used to all that is also difficult. Like you really have to be a strong person. And then the other thing was the weather. Like, if you watched my video, I'll tell you, um, there's a video that I posted that talks about things that I don't like about Germany. I'll, I'll hook up the link here or on top here or something, or here, I don't know which side, that talks about things that I don't like about Germany, like the weather and everything. It's really hard, like when you are new to a country and you are new to the minus degrees, like where I come from, it's very, very warm. So it was really a hard year for me, and you're also very, very far away from home. Uh, you, you don't really have uh, someone to talk to or something like this. It's, it's, it's not really easy, but yeah, it, it also has its, its good uh, uh, side, right? These opportunities and also trying to... Near, it's, it's a bit adventurous, if I might say. And you're just living to people that you've never met. You're going to live with a family that you've never met. Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a challenge on its own. Like, these are also different cultures. There are things like, for us, it's it's not a big thing when I get late, when I come late to an appointment. But here, it's, it's a big conflict. So there are these cultural differences that will also come between you and the family. But after some time, when you get used to the whole culture thing, I think after a year of, of, of your contract, you can actually get used to it and it's actually working properly. So it, it really needs time. And yeah, my experience, it wasn't really an easy year. I don't want to lie to you, but I'm also very thankful to God for this great opportunity because this au pair thing has really opened new doors for me that I would never have opened in my own country. The next question is, um, who's able to apply? Who can get an au pair place or what, what are the requirements? This whole au pair thing doesn't require any type of a bachelor or any type of a certificate. Like, it requires someone who's just adventurous, like I said, someone who's very strong, someone who's ready to start afresh, and yeah, anyone can apply. Like, you just have to be below the age of 27, if I'm not mistaken. And I think the age thing also depends on which country you're going to. I think some countries, you, they can take up to 30, I'm not really sure. But yeah, um, it also depends. German, it, I think it's about until the age of 27. So anyone who's below the age of 27 and above the age of 18 can apply for this au pair thing. And yeah, it's just one year. You get a first a three month uh, contract, a three month contract, and then you can actually renew it when you are here in German. It's a, it's a one year thing. It's a one year program. 
and then after that there are opportunities that uh, there, there are opportunities that can that can arise for you you can actually do apprenticeship i can talk about it in the next video if you guys want to hear the things that you can do after being an au pair in germany just comment down below and let me know then i'll make a separate video on that yeah so Basically, anyone who's above 18 and below 27 can be an au pair. I got people asking me, like, why German? Like, why did you choose German of all the countries? For me, uh, Germany was a good opportunity because, one, we had a, an agent that was doing it in my local town in Blawayo. Uh, so it was easy for me to get this opportunity of coming to Germany because this uh, agent was really working with German au pairs. And then the second thing, I found it really interesting to learn a new language. Like, I had something, I, it was a gain for me because I was going to learn something new. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. I really liked it because it was going to, it was, yeah, I was going to learn something. This is why I chose German. Yeah, so the last question is, would you advise anyone to do this au pair thing? I would say yes and I would say no. I don't know. I have mixed feeling about this. Um, for me, it was a difficult year. And yeah, it also depends on which family that you get. Yeah. And I don't know. Would I advise anyone to do au pair? Yes. Because after this au pair year, you can actually get all those opportunities you can actually uh, yeah you have a lot of opportunities that you can maybe not open in your own country which is a good thing but on the other hand no i wouldn't advise anyone to do open because it's it's really hard like i would, I would advise people to come to germany and i would not advise people to come to germany yeah if, if you get what i mean I, i'm sure you get it that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed watching and please comment down below and let me know about your experiences and au pairs and every uh, as, as au pair if you came wherever you are as an au pair let me know how your experience ha was if you like it if you didn't like it if you think it's a positive thing or, or, or all that things all things au pair just comment down below and let me know so i'm done for today if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'm repeating it again please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i'm posting a video thank you guys for watching i'll see you on my next video bye